And now it is a pleasure to invite Daphna Nessenbaum, the CEO of TIPA, an innovation company that wants to become a world leader of naturally uh, recyclable packaging. Please, Daphna. Thank you. The stage is yours. Thank you very much. Is this the... Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning, and it's... Uh, my name is Daphna. I'm the CEO and co-founder of TIPA. It's a pleasure to be here today, and I would like to thank Landmark and the conference organizers for investing, inviting us to present here today. Let me see how it works. No. Green, green. green. Okay. So this is us. This is TIPA. I want to talk today about a problem that I guess most of us are not aware of. The problem, a huge problem, the problem of the flexible packaging plastic waste. What about it? If you go today to the supermarket, almost everything is packed. All the food is packed. Small portions, big portions, jars, boxes, bottles, plastic bottles. But did you know that the biggest packaging segment is the flexible packaging segment. And it's not just the biggest, it's twice as much as the plastic bottles. Now, what, what is the problem here? 95%, 95% of those flexible packaging cannot be recycled, which means they end life in landfill. It cannot be recycled, so there's no solution for those packages. It's a market of $91 billion. Flexible packaging, when I say flexible packaging, I mean all the soft packages, granola bars, potato chips, snacks, cheese, meat, bread, $91 billion market in 2015 with zero ecological solutions. What happens today to those packages? They just end life in landfill and stay there forever. Forever means hundreds of years. What do we offer? What is our solution? Now imagine. Imagine that packaging was just like an orange pill. So we can eat or drink the content of the package, and the package will go to the organic waste stream and decompose the same way as organic waste. Will disappear and actually become a fertilizer the same way as an organic pill, as, an, as all the organic waste we have. And we have proved that. Look at this slide. In the right-hand side, you can see con conventional plastic packaging, polyethylene. In the left-hand side, you can see our material. You can see the PAS packaging and see what happens in 26 weeks. It just disappears. So this is what we offer today. This is the technology. We have developed a platform that actually supports this technology and enables us to pack many segments of food. And this is what we offer today to the market. You can find our products in Europe and in the US, those are products that are already launched to the market, 100% compostable, biodegradable packaging for the food industry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's look, let's look at the future. So the flexible packaging market is estimated to be by 2020 $114 billion with a growth of 4.5% 4, 4 a year. That's, that's a growing market. But look at the compostable packaging market. It's a market that's estimated to be $3.4 billion by 2020, but with a growth of 11%, which means this is where the market is going to. And actually, TIPA sits in the junction of those two growing markets. And this is our technology. And this is the future. This is our vision. So we, have, we all use organic waste, organic food. We all use organic food and actually produce organic waste. And we will continue to do this generations from now because we will always eat cucumbers, apples, oranges, and tomatoes. We create a new era of packaging when we can treat packaging as part of our organic waste. We consumers, suppliers, we look differently at packaging and packaging will be treated same way as organic waste. Look in this way, and will decompose and disappear and fully go back to nature as an organic waste. Just to give you an idea, 
what, when the package, together with organic waste, goes to compost system, it will disappear and actually become a fertilizer within 180 days, six years, six months, I'm sorry, six months as opposed to hundreds of years with conventional plastic. Okay, so this is the future. This is what we have done in TIPA, and thank you very much. So I'm here today because I wanted to meet you all, but also because we're raising our next, next round. And also have some samples here with me, and I encourage you all to come and talk to me. Again, thank you very much.